Hello, everybody. I am filming here at the uh, at Cannon Beach in our little condo that we've got. We're here for three days. We just drive. It's like an hour from our house at Cannon Beach. Seaside's 45 minutes. Uh, the beaches closest beach is like um, 30 minutes. So. We just drive down every now and then and grab a room and have fun. This one we've had uh, planned for a couple of months now. So got a little condo, got it for three three nights. And so we came down yesterday and we'll go home Monday. My daughter's at our house um, puppy sitting. You know, our fur babies, they have to be taken care of. We always have to make sure they're taken care of. But anyway, I thought I would just do a quick video. Um try to have a little bit of fun in a minute i'm going to walk you guys out to the balcony now keep in mind this is the oregon coast so anybody that lives like in florida virginia beach uh south north carolina all those beaches out there those are warm <laughs> white sand beaches our beaches are that way they're beautiful but the ocean is so cold coming off that pacific uh, but we have mountains, as a matter of fact. See, now it's, it's a rainy day, but it's Oregon. I don't know if you can see that or not. That is the mountain view from here. So, maybe you can see that a little bit. When we got here yesterday, they were still there was still snow up there from where it had snowed for a couple of days. And, oh, this is our nice king-size bed. There, over there, that's my little CPAP that has to go with me wherever I go. And we have a nice little TV up here, so very, very much at home. This is just the bedroom. My husband's in the living area watching, um, I don't know what he's watching. He's watching something. Anyway, so I'm going to do a, what do I, do I take planners and things with me when I go places, even if it's a couple of days? Yes, I do. I do. I may have a problem. My husband thinks I have a problem. So, I'm just going to show you a little bit of what I brought this time. Um, you know, every time it's a little bit different, but because I'm never planning in the same thing twice. I did only bring one book of uh, stickers, and I regretted that last night when I was playing. I was like, dang it, should have brought more. But anyway, all right, so this is the bag that I bring with me. I got this, uh, actually got this off that selling site, Macari, but this comes from Hobby Lobby. And honestly, and I've got a couple of others, but this is the lightest, lightest weight one. But it doesn't hold anything like I had hoped it would hold. But anyway, I'll show you. It's really pretty. I just, they have a tote one too that's really, really nice. I kind of wish I had got that instead, but I only paid $9 for this, so I'm happy. Okay, so inside here, I have my happy planner full of uh pens and i don't think i have any coloring pencils in there just pens and some washi tapes in there then i have my little kiki k personal size planner that i've been using forever because i just love it so much she's got lol i just i really love this one i've been using it forever but i love it Got all the cute little girly stuff in there that just makes me happy. I hope I've got you guys in, you know, in view. I'm actually thinking about, um, <laughs> thinking about uh, not using this after February and to start using the little happy planner that I picked up because I've never used a mini happy planner. I've only used the, um, classic and the big so you guys watched my video of the day you know i just scored scored one i went looking for the new face sticker book and i did get it and they also had one of these so i bought it as well and it, it just goes along with all the stickers in the face sticker book so it's just beautiful i just love it it's so cute so i brought it with me because even though i'm not planning in it i have put extra sheets in it and i did my scripture writing in that this morning so i just i'm like i just want i've got it it's new i have to take it with me because it's just too pretty not to i love that 
and then my little sticker book. This is only one I brought. It's from the Agenda 52, and this is like their new line of girls. They're super cute. You know, I still like the LOL girls the best, but these girls are cute. They're still really cute. So, I've used a lot out of here. There was a lot more, but <laughs> matter of fact, let me show you what I did for uh, my open page. I put all this stuff on it. And me with my curly hair and my dog. <laughs> and then I put a lot more on some of the other ones too. So, gotta decorate it up a little bit. And then for my, you know, of course, devotion time, I bought my Encourage Devotional Bible. And that's what I did my scripture writing out of this morning. So, that's what I brought with me. I hope I got it all in frame. I have no clue. I'm not very good at this remote kind of stuff. I'm used to setting it on a tripod and... Phew, Gonna set up before I do it, but anyway, I just want to show you guys around in case you ever decide you want to come to the Oregon coast. We have been having really, really crazy winds. Last night we had gale force winds, and that was crazy. I mean, but it makes the waves just go really, really, you know, huge. And we had we had a tragedy happen a few days ago. Um, because the the waves have been so big, they've been surf warnings out and and everything, and because they're very dangerous, they get very large. The Pacific, right here where we're at on the coast, is considered one of the most dangerous oceans in the world. There's been more shipwrecks here than anywhere, because the seas are just that rough and everything. So we had a family that was the father and uh, two children got hit by a giant wave and pulled out um, into the ocean. They were able to get the father, and I don't know if he's still in the hospital or not, but he survived, but the two children did not. It was a nine-year-old girl and her four-year-old little brother, and the mother and grandmother were there and saw this happen. Um, they recovered the little girl's body, but they've not found the little boy's body. And, you know, as rough as this, these seas are, it's... Something I cannot imagine. I'm sure you guys understand. Uh, until you experience that kind of loss, there are no words. So all we can do is pray. So do pray for that family. Because, like I said, I cannot imagine. But anyway, I'm going to show you through our little condo. It's just me and my husband, so we like it. King size bed. Of course, you got your beach pictures everywhere. Nice door. Very nice door. And then you go in here. Hanging closet. That's where I got all my stuff. And then here's the bathroom, which is messy, so we won't talk about that. But it's got a huge soaking tub I love. And then we also have a full kitchen. So you got your full, almost full-size fridge. And you got burners, dishwasher everything so we're actually going to cook dinner tonight instead of going out dining area carrying along one of my new coach purses that i got that's been the one i've toted there you go tv i'm gonna Ooh, there's the husband and this picture above him that is haystack rock that is one of the more very very famous uh, rocks here that's out in the ocean and you can walk up you know by it's huge until you've seen it you will not know how, just how massive it is and then we also have a gas fireplace which is very cozy because I love sitting here by the ocean now this is gonna be loud so I don't know if you guys can hear me or not because as you can see the seas are are very very rough out there there is our view. There's some of the trees that have been, see how they are formed? All the powerful winds we get here, it literally does that to them. But this is my paradise, ladies. Even though there's no sun out, I don't care. Just the sound of those waves. I could literally sleep out here on the deck and just be happy as, you know, I'll get out, wrap up in a few blankets, and listen to that 
ocean. The only thing I don't like about this, the last room that we had when we came to the beach, uh, of course it wasn't a condo. Um, it was in Lincoln City. And what it was, um, the bed was right there by the balcony. So we got to leave the, the balcony doors open all night and just listen to the ocean all night long. Which for me, that's my favorite thing. So anyway, this bedroom faces the mountainside. So uh, still leave the windows open, but you can't hear the ocean. So, but I love it. We're here till Monday, like I said, and we're not out doing a ton of stuff. It's super cold, and you know me, I can't walk. And uh, Cannon Beach is a little, just a little small beach town, so there's a lot of specialty shops and stuff, and <clears throat> and restaurants, and they're all pretty much right together on a couple of streets. Um, not a lot of parking, so most people park, and then they just get out of their cars and go, and they walk everywhere. Your girl can't do that. Your girl tried, and it does not work. Uh, I was in so much pain last night. It was horrible. I almost didn't go to sleep because I was hurting so bad. But I lived. And we do have several restaurants. I mean, just right next to us, very close. And we did go in one shop today, but I was ready to go. So we went and got groceries little bit we got enough to make breakfast tomorrow I had to get me some coffee that I actually like got some mint chocolate chip ice cream and then we got steaks for tonight so we're set and that's all I want to do when I come out here it's not I don't I mean I like to get out on the beach but when it's really super windy like this I just and I, that's why we always 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 get an ocean front if we come to the beach have to have an ocean front room because why get out there and freeze when you can just sit right there on your balcony? <laughs> Blanket wrapped around you and everything. Like I was tell you, though, I miss my little fur puppies. I miss my fur babies so bad. My daughter keeps FaceTiming me and showing me the things they do, though, so she's taking good care of them. But I miss them. <laughs> and the only reason we don't bring them with us is because, of course, and Cannon Beach is a very dog-friendly town, but and there's a few restaurants that you can actually go in and take your dog, but not every place. So, and you can't leave them in your room. That's against rules. So, not that I'd want to anyway. But anyway, it would. I miss my little snuggly babies. But I love my waves and I love my sea and my ocean just my happy place absolutely so anyway i hope you guys are having a wonderful day i probably will not post again until tuesday try and post something then maybe because i haven't i have a doctor's appointment with the eye doctor to try and get these things fixed a little bit better um on tuesday but having some new closet doors put in my bedroom on thursday i think so maybe I can get, if I, nothing else, I'll definitely try and get on Wednesday. And we'll do a, a Bible devotion or something fun. So, anyway. I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. I hope you have a blessed Sunday. Um, and I love you so much. Subscribe, like, and share me. I haven't checked today, but last time I checked, I was at 950 subscribers. So we're about to hit that thousand mark. And when we do... That's giveaway time. You guys know that. So keep sharing me so that we hit that mark. And until then, I will see you later. Thank you so much, ladies. Bye.